Hi, I'm Brett Larkin and welcome to the 18 day yoga challenge for your body and soul that I'm hosting with Yoga Outlet. Our inspiration word today is sweetness. We are gonna do a short, sweet meditation that is really gonna ground you and center you in your heart. To warm up the body just a little bit before we sit for meditation, just come to all fours and stack shoulders over wrists. And I'm just gonna invite you to take the body in some circles. So instead of traditional cat-cow, we're just gonna kind of warm up the hips and shoulders just by moving in some gentle circles like this. And you can make these small or you can make them really big, like going all the way down towards child's pose. Um, just feel what feels right for you. Make sure the fingers are spread really wide and then take it in the opposite direction. Doing a little warm up before you meditate, I think makes a huge difference in your ability to be able to sit still. The body is not used to sitting still. It's actually quite challenging, more challenging than moving for a lot of us. Good, come to center and just slip the right foot forward and we'll just come into a little lunge. So this should just open up the left psoas. You should feel a stretch in the front of the left thigh. And if you have the range of motion, feel free to place the hands on the knee or even interlace the fingers behind your back and press the heels of the hands together if you want to kind of open the shoulders at the same time. Otherwise, you can just be here. This is just a little warm up. Good, and then slip the right knee back, slip the left knee forward, and left foot forward, and just a little gentle lunge. Draw the shoulders down the back and really begin tuning into the breath. So your meditation really can start here. With you just kind of locating and finding those three count inhales, three count exhales. And of course, hands on knee or interlacing fingers the opposite way. If you did it on the other side and it felt good. And wherever you are, last two breaths. Good, take the foot back. We'll sink down into a little child's pose. You can have knees as wide as the mat or you can have the knees touching. If it's available to you, turn the palms face up for today for just a little extra shoulder stretch and then just move the seat from side to side, just sort of massaging the low back, feeling into the hips. And then check in with how you're feeling today. This is the beauty of a home practice, right? Is that it's not about doing everything I say, it's about really connecting with your body, tailoring the practice for you. So you can stay in child's pose here, maybe walk the hands to the left and walk the hands to the right for a side body stretch. We've done that in previous challenge videos, or you can just take a little down dog if you're feeling like you really want a stretch in the hamstrings today. Mm -hmm. Pedaling through the legs, keeping those fingers spread as far apart as possible. Just hearing your breath wherever you are. So final pose before meditation, a little down dog or child's pose. And you can take your feet as wide as the mat if you're in down dog or have the feet hip width apart to see what feels good in your body today. And we'll all come to sit for meditation. And for this particular meditation, instead of sitting in traditional cross legs, I really like to sit on my, um, with a block between my heels. So I take a block the long way and I place it between my heels. And if you don't have a block, you can sit cross-legged. You could grab a couch cushion off your couch and sit on that. Um, but the goal is to have the knees emanating directly from the hips. So however wide your hips are, which is different from ev for everyone, is how wide apart your knees should be. So you don't want the knees touching. You don't want them super splayed apart. You want them just emanating from your hip crease if you're joining me in this position. And some of you might have a lot of flexibility and don't even need the block, but I really like to have the block. <laughs> and if you don't have a block, you can just sit in normal cross legs. It doesn't matter, any comfortable seat. I just like this particular variation for this meditation. Place the hands on the thighs, close the eyes. 
Take a deep breath in and then just let air exit the body, either open the mouth or through the nose. So just a big release. We'll do that again, inhaling three counts, inflate the belly, inflate the chest, feel your collarbones lift, get taller, open the mouth, let it go. <sighs> just kind of sigh it out, sigh your day out, sigh the week out. Again, big breath in. And exhale completely. Last time, inhaling. This time really work on keeping the length that you find in the spine as you inhale. Exhaling nose or mouth, but stay tall. Keep the space you found in the spine. So you're just really emerging into your tallest spine now. Breathe in for three, and this time we'll keep the lips sealed. Exhale through the nose for three, pulling the navel back, refining your shape now. So finding the crown of the head, lining up directly above your two sits bones, navigating that. So maybe you need to lean back in space slightly. And as we do this, sort of like you change channels on a television, we're sort of trying to change our interior channel from focusing on the noise, the to-dos, the excitement, of which there is always a lot, to changing the channel to the stillness channel, the space, the inner knowledge, the inner knowing, the quiet, right? And that quiet is always accessible to us. We just need to tune into it. And in this analogy, the remote is our breath, right? The, the breath is the way to shift gears, change channels. And just focusing and bringing all your awareness to your breath. And just recognizing this choice that we can choose to focus our attention on the noise, on the to-dos. We can also choose to focus our attention on the inner quiet that's always there. Try to locate more space and stillness in your body now. Good, and then you can open your eyes to look at me if you need to keep the spine tall. I just want you to take your right arm underneath your left armpit and your left um, arm underneath your right armpit. So the left arm is crossing over the right. So your thumbs are up. And now we're just gonna bring our attention back to the breath. So keep the eyes closed now. And what's nice here is you can really feel the rib cage lifting, expanding. And then descending with the breath. So as you breathe in, just think about how much you can feel the arms lift in this configuration filling up all the way and then exhaling completely and continuing to just navigate into that longest spine. So as you go through a series of breaths here, you may find you want to lean back in space slightly, lean forward, maybe shift more to the right, to the left. Just let this cross of the arms help you tap into a deeper breath but also using it, as, using it as a steering wheel to come into your longest spine. And step into the role of the observer, just watching the breath in the body. And gently bring your attention to your ribs and see if you think the left lung or the right lung is able to intake more breath if you notice maybe a difference between the two sides. And if the breath begins to slow down and get quieter, that's okay. 
It's almost sweet. And you can still focus on your breath even when it becomes more subtle. And as it feels right to you, you'll gently take the right arm down and cross it on top of the left. So you're just taking the opposite crossing of the arm, same position. Feel the chin parallel to the floor. See if you can knit your front ribs together and as you notice the breath underneath the bound arms in this big inhale, see if you can feel it more in the back of your body as opposed to the front of the body now. So as you get taller, you knit the front ribs together and you're breathing more with the back of your body. See if you can feel the breath more lateral as well. So left to right instead of up and down. Just really tuning into your interior space, your inner quiet. can release the arms if you have them crossed. Just take the hands back, face down on the thighs. And as you breathe in, I want you to think the mantra, silently say to yourself, Sat. Think of breathing in, ball of light, tailbone to your heart center. And then as you exhale, silently say the mantra, Yam. And think of that ball of light expanding from your heart center out beyond your body. Sat, tailbone to heart center, ball of light. Yam, ball of light expands. It's just like you're nurturing this ball of light in your heart center. And just two more times like that. Good. And now visualizing this ball of light in the heart space. As you breathe in and think sat, I want you to think of the inhale as just this gentle fanning of the ball of light, like you gently fan a flame. So it just gets a little brighter, stronger as you breathe in. And then yam as you exhale, Y-A-M, expand that light. So it's moving beyond the body. Maybe it's as wide as your shoulders or as wide as the knees. Or maybe it's expanding as we go through this meditation across the whole room. So for the next few moments, sat on the in-breath. Think of the light getting stronger, fanning the flame at the heart center. Yam on the out-breath, ball of light expanding from the heart center out across the room, all around you. Sat, yam, sat, yam. Just chanting to yourself silently.
Feeling that glow, that heat that you've created from the heart. And just feel yourself now encapsulated in that light. Just like it's protecting you, it's all around you. It's just this womb that you're living inside. Perhaps it feels warm, perhaps it glows. Perhaps it has this golden hue or color, perhaps some other color. Just feel the light all around you. And then slowly begin to call it back, call it back into the center of your heart. So it comes back slowly over the course of several breaths. So it's just this pinpoint of light at the center of your chest. Call that light in, feel it in your heart space. And then take gently the right hand over the heart center and press the left palm on top of the right palm, pressing into the heart, breathe in. Send your chest into the hands and the hands into the chest. Breathe out. Good, last breath. And breathe out, just sealing in your intention, your sweetness, your light. And take the palms now to press together at heart center. Dip the chin. Just gesture of gratitude for taking this time out of your busy day to pause, come to your practice, and gently open your eyes. Thank you so, so much for practicing with me. Make sure to comment below, let me know how this meditation went for you. Huge thanks to Yoga Outlet for making this video possible. Remember, you can get details on all the things I'm using in these videos in the description below. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to support me and free yoga online. From my heart to yours, namaste.